You've got to tune to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming at kexp.org worldwide. I'm Cheryl Waters. I'm here at a vast recording company with one of our favorite bands. It's All Them Witches. Welcome. Hey, what's going on? Feels like just yesterday we saw each other, but it's been about a year and a half. You've got a new record, and you're touring relentlessly as usual, playing the Freak Out Fest tonight. Very excited about that. I appreciate you coming by to play some new songs for us. Yeah, we're, we're really excited to be back here. We never thought it would happen, but we're back. So here we go. Take it away. It's All Them Witches live on KEXP.
dark side of town. Never thought he would wake up from a fist fight. Never thought he would get knocked down. them witches live on kexp those songs diamond and fish belly 86 onions from the new self-titled album 
Fish belly, 86 onions. That's actually going to be really weird or really delicious. <laughs> you got to tell me about that song. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's just kind of a crazy title for a crazy song. Uh, yeah, fish belly, it's like a big greasy sandwich in my opinion. <laughs> and you probably don't need any onions on it. Fish belly, 86 onions. If you're going to have onions, though, you might as well put 86 on there. There you go. <laughs> 86 onions. So great to have you back in the KEXP airwaves. It does feel like we were just sitting here together uh, yesterday, but it's been a year and a half, a lot of touring. You have a brand new record, um, self-produced and self-titled. Yeah. And tell me about that new record. Um, kind of feels like you went back to the basics on that one. Yeah, it's cool. We, we always kind of do that. We branch out a little bit and we come home, branch out and come home. And um, this one just felt like we needed to record it ourselves. And uh, it's just kind of how we've, we've always done things, I guess. We've always done home recordings and demos and, and that kind of thing. So uh, we just thought, why not give it a try? What was the vibe like when you were doing this? I heard you went into a cabin, which is not the first time you've done no, something like that. No, not the first time. Um, this time was much better. It's really relaxed. Um, we actually got done a day early, which is surprising. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was really great. It was a beautiful piece of land in uh, Kingston Springs, Tennessee. Nice. So, yeah. Feels like a real labor of love, and it sounds like one as well. You all um, are good friends. You seem to get along really well. And over the years of making music together, are there things that you come back to, touchstones that remind you why you're doing this and why you love making music so much, things that ground you? I guess it's through every change that's happened um, from us as a band. It's like we just keep we just keep doing it. We always get back in the van. We always go out, and we always play, and we always... You know, tell jokes and make each other laugh, and uh, and yeah, I guess that's all. That's I mean, we're still having fun, so I guess it's the major touchstone. Because when it's not fun, we don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, but I imagine you can hardly imagine doing anything else. <laughs> not now. I've been out of the workforce a little too long. I need to go back to college and get some, get my GED or something. Well, we don't want you to stop doing this. Every yeah. time you have a new album, it's great. I want to say, how many is this? Number five? I don't know. But yeah, yeah I've lost track as well. Um, so many great, great songs, great music. And one of the great things about this band is at the core, you're just a rock band, but you touch on so many different sounds. Of course, you've got that blues uh Blues, that's also kind of core sound for the band, but, sure, yeah. you know, psychedelic rock in there. You're playing the Freak Out Fest uh, tonight here in Seattle. And you also uh, appeal to a metal audience. You were on some cool lineups. Was that this summer playing some big festivals? We did, um, we did Desert Days and out in uh, Joshua Tree, and that was a lot of fun. Crazy rain the first night. Um, oh, man, I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, it was insane. We, did, we thought everybody was overplaying it, but they weren't. It was crazy. Um, so we played that night, and then we did Aftershock, and um, made, you know made some good friends at that festival. Actually, it was it was really it was a good festival. And then we just went home, just a couple of dates, and came home. That sounds great. Yeah, if you're not enjoying it and making friends along the way, you know this is your life. You're doing it every day, so you really want to make the best of it. Well, this is such a great new album, and uh, five albums in. You titled it uh, All Them Witches. Right. And, uh, again, we can't wait always to see you when you come through Seattle. And you do come through quite often. It's nice. We appreciate yeah, that. We like it up here a lot. And we always seem to hit it on a nice day. So uh, we'll keep coming back, I guess. We'll keep bringing that great weather with you and that great music. We're here in the studios with All Them Witches. What do you got next? Uh, this is a song called Workhorse. I'm a workhorse when I am able More like a war horse caught in the stable Of my mind Stabling my time Stabling my time oh, yeah. Stabling my time, time of control Oh, the diamonds Oh, the coal Thieves wearing gold Invisible line Thieves wearing gold Invisible line Came to watch 
me work They wanna know how much I believe show you how to turn something into nothing It's not as easy as it seems I'm the downhill of the soul But I know it's true since I was just born You're listening to All Them Witches on KEXP. Your music is so visual. Actually, listening to that made me think of the video for the first song that you did, Diamond. And I, I know that all the visuals for the band are so great, the photographs. And did you have a hand in making that video? It's so cool, but it's really creepy. Actually, Robbie and I made that video. Um, we filmed it over the course of three days. I don't know. It was like four days. Yeah, three or four days. Um, we had actually just gotten off of tour, I believe. And uh, yeah, Robbie does all of the artwork for the band and he does a lot of the, like, the visual direction. And so, yeah, we just, we actually shot it on a 16 millimeter camera. That might be what gives it that kind of creepy vibe. Right, yeah. It's a little creepy. It's awesome. Thank you. 
What do you got left? One more? We got one more. Uh, it's uh, an old song. It's actually off of da Dying Surfer, I think. Oh. All right. I can't remember it. We love that one. That's funny. We don't know what it's on. We'll just play it. It is that record.
Holy cow. All them witches live on KEXP. That was awesome. Parks, I love the way that you look at Robbie and Ben when they're playing. I mean, probably you're just looking for the cue in the song, but it just seems like you're looking with admiration. Well, I mean, it's funny. I don't ever get to see them. Uh, like, oh, so we're never set up like this. So usually I don't see them. It's all just, um, yeah, this is, it's a rare treat to actually see my bandmates, I guess. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> Although we need to get Robbie a third arm to keep those headphones on. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much. It's always such a pleasure to see you. And have fun at the Freak Out Festival tonight. That's such a great festival, and what a great addition you are this year. Yeah, thank you for having us again. Well, we look, it. we will look forward to the next time. Yeah. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Yay, we did it again. We did it again. Yeah. Oh, that sounded so good. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.